the R what or the radius of the pencil, the length of the pencil. Yeah. And the tube. Yeah. B equal to the radius. Yeah. Radius of what? No. The maximum velocity is a uh, omega squared r. No, I think you're thinking of the circular motion formulas. Is this what's confusing you? Maximum velocity is a omega. A omega. Yeah. Omega is two pi over c. Yeah. And a. Amplitude. No. No. Just amplitude. Okay. Amplitude is how much they pull the pendulum back. How many parts are in the B? Five. Okay. Yes. Omega squared A, yes. Or as you said, A omega squared, yeah. For what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the maximum height, yeah. Be finished now? Great. So what do you, what are you told in the question here? Yeah. They give this to you? Yes. Yeah. Ah. T equals two pi root L over G. So you have a T squared over 4 pi squared times G. When you rearrange it, that's what you get for the length. Did you work this out? Um, what did you get? My calculator's not here yet. One meter? Yeah, it should be about one meter for two seconds. Uh, part two? So, yeah, is equal to A omega which is equal to 0 0.04 and omega is 2 pi over t. Oh, there's my calculator. there. Uh, so this ends up being just 0 0.04 pi, uh, which is about 12 centimeters a second. What did you okay. get? Okay. What did you get? Okay, so 12.5 centimeters per second. Part three? Ah, at the lowest part four. Yeah, so that's a omega squared. So what's it about thirty-eight centimeters per second squared? I'm doing well today. Uh, thirty-eight point. 39. Okay, thirty-nine point. Okay, centimeters per second squared and. Lastly, where is this at at the highest point? How many marks for all of that B part? Eight. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. That's okay. Uh, so what's the story in part C then? Is 
the spring one there. Okay. Give that a try then. Adnan? Mayor? You know what to do? Use look for last. Need my help? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead. What's the story here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it extends by zero point fifteen, and then it's pulled down a further ten. Is it? Yeah. And then. I know what's going to happen here. It's going to bob up and down, oscillate. Yeah. So we know the mass is 0 0.3 kilograms and the amplitude is 0 0.1 meters. Okay. So continue with the story. What's next? Okay. Time period is two pi root m over k for a spring. I know. By a spring. So we have this formula for a spring. You forgot this formula? You forgot. Huh? What is k? Oh my goodness. Don't you remember Hooke's formula? It is simple harmonic motion. But Simple harmonic motion caused by a spring. So we have extra formulas, spring formulas. Yeah? What's the first part? It was get the T. Do we know M? Yes. Do we know K? No. They didn't give it to us, did they? So we need to work out the K first. At the beginning of the story, they tell you uh, when you hang the mass on the spring, it extends by 0.15. So this is called the equilibrium position. This is where the force is balanced. What are the forces acting on it here? The weight, which is mg. And what else? The upward force from the spring, which according to Hooke is k times extension. So do we have the k now? We do. So can you give me the k, please? It's going to be 0 0.3 times 9.81 over 0 0.15, that would be 19 point, wait, I can do this, take away 40 and add to 62, mm -hmm. that is the K uh, in newtons per meter, so now I take that and put it in here, and now I can get the time. 2 pi root 0 0.3 over 19.62. Okay, what's that now? You should do it. Yeah, I should. But you have it 0 0.78 seconds. Yeah. Okay, what's the next part? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah.
Ja? Right, so we have to be very careful here. Um, it starts on its amplitude and goes back up and then back down. So this is cos or sine. Mm, do you remember? Sine. Yeah, 50 50 chance, and sadly you went the wrong way. A cos omega t. Uh, where this is the x here. So after two seconds, it'd be 0 0.10 cos omega, which is 2 pi over t times 2 in radian mode. You have to. Minus 9 centimetres. So it's now actually 9 centimetres up from the equilibrium position. So the answer is 9 centimetres above the equilibrium position because we got this was at minus that yeah next part of yield ah okay so we'll just calculate the v and the formula for v is minus a omega sine omega t so I don't actually I don't I don't care about the number, I just care if it's positive or negative. Mm -hmm. So if I just backspace here and change that cost maybe to no I Yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't affect the sign. Uh we just care about the the sign. So it's a negative. Uh so this would end up being a negative. Uh if we're calling down positive in my diagram and up is negative then this was right and then so the direction you will know the direction by the speed by the velocity yeah positive negative up down what's next oh that was the end of the pendulum thing or the, the spring so how many marks for that altogether I mean for the last part, sorry, the seven. seven for what we've just done. Okay, what's B2 about? B2. Projectile! Great. Musharif's favourite. <laughs> you know it's not your favourite. It is projectiles? Okay. What's the A part asking you to do? At an angle? And at a speed? Ah, and are you taught how long it takes to hit the ground or something like that? Okay, okay. Give that one a try. How many marks for that? Now, it should be four marks? Six. Only three? Mm. All right. You have some laws for me? Let's have a look, see. Let's see. What is the nuclear radius of 40 CA? What energy electrons and protons are required to probe the size of 40 CA? 
if one wants to see at least uh, half the radius. Um, show that the nucleotide HBE has positive binding energy but is unstable with respect to decay into two of the particles. Hmm, these are tricky enough. More difficult than what we would have on the course. Yeah. Um more than these? Oh yes. This is uh, this is university level physics. I wouldn't expect you to be able to do any of these. Um, I would have to I would have to check my physics book at home to do some uh, to do some of these. Yeah. Yeah, like for example, like number three, the uncertainty principle. Um, that's probably the easiest question here to answer, but it needs a formula which you haven't seen. You know. Uh, this one is uh, an integration, but again, it's an integration that you haven't practiced. Um, is there more if I click? Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, number six is, is something you could do. It's a decay. They give you the half-life of 110 minutes. Number seven, uh, show that uranium-230 does not decay by emitting a neutron or proton. Interesting. Um, number eight is carbon date, and we've done that one. Nine plus two AS, yeah. Uh, yeah, of these ten questions, I'd say only two of them would be of the difficulty um, of what you'd have in the course. How come you got these? I don't know. I think he has somebody in the university or something. I don't know. He just asked me. I don't know. No, I'd say yeah. So uh, that so that is a university then. You got oh, the questions? Okay. Yeah, because these are all first year physics stuff here. Um, so only. Two of those, the ones that deal with half life, are the ones that you should be able to do. The rest are uh, too advanced for what we do in atoms because we don't do too much for atoms, you know. So, yeah, interesting, interesting. Any luck? Yeah. You have A part finished? Super. Will we do the A part? Yeah. No, no, no. I. How many parts are there? Okay. Yeah, the first part done. Yeah, we'll just get the speed. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is this is this at an angle or is it just going up and straight down? It's at an angle. So it has some of my oh Did you include the sign? Or the cost? that you have to redo it. Why? Well, I need the initial. Yeah, what information do they give you about the man? He's standing at the top of the building, yeah? yeah. Are you giving the height of the building? Yeah, that's And you're giving the angle here? Mm -hmm. What is it? Yeah, and what else are you told? The maximum height is 45.5. So if we use this point here as the origin, then the maximum height is really just 10.1. Uh, using this piece as the origin. Uh, no, sorry, I did that wrong. 15.1. Yeah, am I right? Yeah, yeah, it is. 15.1. So, uh, this piece here is U, and the U is what they're looking for. Initial speed, yeah? So, this one is U cos 35. 
and this one here was u sine 35 and we're looking in the vertical direction u is u sine 35 v is 0 a is minus g t we don't know s we do know we have v squared equals u squared plus 2as Yeah. So we get u is the square root of 30.2, 9.81. You know that. So finally we get u is square root 30.2 times 9.81 over sine 35. What's that please? And we'll see if that is the same as your answer. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. Now I need to go back to the green mode. Thirty. What did you leave out? Just the sine 35? Um, what? That was one mistake. What else? U equals only U, not U sine. Two mistakes. What else? No. Just two? Yeah. How many marks though? I'm only seeing something. I can't make more. Well, maybe you got the wrong angle. Maybe you said 53 degrees. No, no. Yeah. Um, okay, what's part two then? I can guess the time it takes to hit the ground. Yes, okay. So, what direction are we looking at now? Vertical still. But what's different in UVATS? Is the U the same? Yeah. The S is not the same and the V is not zero. We don't know what it is. The S is what? There's always one student that does that every year. No, it's what he said. Yeah? Plus yeah, that's wrong. Everyone, that's always someone who says that every year. Ian, what were you saying? I think you were on the right uh, track. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're on the right track, but not quite right. Minus 30.4. Oh, yeah, it has nothing to do with the maximum height. It has nothing to do with the maximum it's 30.4 meters below the starting point. Right? See, because Musharif was thinking F stands for distance, which is why he said 15.1 plus 45.5. Right? Mm -hmm. But F stands for displacement. But you knew that, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, u is u sine 35, v we don't know, a is minus g, t we don't know is what we want, and s is minus 30.4. You will get a quadratic, and you shall take the positive answer for t. Go ahead. Thank you.
No. Wait, wait, slow down there. You was 32. Are you sure? 30, sign 35. I really hope that number is less than 30. Yeah. You yeah. Uh, U T plus half A T squared. U T plus half T A T squared. What you need, Joe? Um, quadratic. Yeah. A is minus one point nine five. Yes. Um, B is thirty nine point five. Yeah. And C is minus thirty nine point five. Uh, I think it's plus thirty point four because you need to bring that to the other side because it's equal to S, so it's probably a plus there. Ah, uh, that's because the C, yeah. U T plus a half A T squared, yeah. Um, four point eight. That sounds right. Three to four seconds is what I was expecting here for the answer. Um, we can continue this one next time. How much is left in this question? Two more parts for B, is it? And in C? Oh, we're still in A. Alright, that's okay then. That's okay. We have class after the break? Oh, we have maths. No. An hour of physics. Oh, yeah, so we'll just continue this after the break. And sure, maybe we'll have more students.